I'm going to go in in depth with the styles section box in your home tab. There's a few things that you definitely need to know. To begin with, looking at the styles, you can choose your style. You highlight your text. You can hover over and the live preview will show you which style it is and what it looks like. Okay, You can save this selection as a new quick style. Okay, What that means, say I like this as my new quick style, it jumps up here. So then I can just quickly grab it and go. Set it and go. Okay, moves it right up to the top. Clear formatting, as I discussed earlier in the font box, takes it back to whatever format it originally came in. Applying styles is basically the same thing as clicking on it. Now, here's where it gets kind of interesting. When you go over to change styles, you can change the style set. What does this mean? This is the template for each one of these documents that you can use. The cool thing is you can create your own by using different styles from up here throughout your whole document. And if you like it, you can save it. Let me show you. Let's say we decide to come up here and we want to use this style over here and we want to use this style over here. That looks kind of cool. Let's do that. Okay. Now we like this as far as the heading and the body goes. Let's say we want to change the heading. Let's do something kind of wild like that. Let's center it. Remember, uh, I'm working in columns, so it's not the full page. So center is going to center it within the column. So say I like this. Now I can go to the style set, and I can save it. And let's call it test. It's going to save in the quick styles folder in your username, documents, and settings. Now it's saved. Now I go off, I do my other business, and I come back, and I want to use this as a template. Now you can create the same type of documents to look exactly the same way with the same type of styles. And you can reset it back to the quick styles or you can reset to the quick styles from your template. Okay. You can go further by changing the colors in your style selection and saving it as that style. I mean it's very detailed and you can customize this however you want. But let me show you what else these style colors will do. Right now we have it set defaulted to the Microsoft Office colors. What's that mean? Well here's what it means. When you go up here to choose your font color, these are the theme colors that it's talking about. So right now it's the Microsoft Office colors. So let's change it. Say you want to work with strictly just a grayscale. Going back over to your theme colors, there's your grayscale. Okay. Now, you can also create new theme colors. Come down here to make your own. You can choose whatever colors you want, and you're going to title it. Let's just use these colors. You're going to title it, and now it's back in Custom 1. So you can really, really get into detailing any of your documents. Okay. Now, let's go to fonts. Fonts, you can choose any type of font. And again, it's customizing. Office Classic, Apex, and it'll show them. Okay, again, what this will do for the built in fonts is this will put it over here. Okay, just like similar to the theme colors, you're going to go over here and you see theme fonts. I changed it to Georgia. The one that's defaulted for Microsoft Office 07 is the Cambria and Calibri. Some of you may notice when you start to type your documents and stuff, it's not the New Times Roman that we were used to. Up here in theme fonts, that's what it's set up as for your heading and for your body. I personally like the older way, and I'll go back to the Office Classic, 
which is Arial and New Times Roman. There's where I am. All my headings now will be Arial, and all my body will be typed in New Times Roman. That's what this font section does. allows you to pick one. Okay, You could also, just like creating colors, and just like creating styles, you can create a new theme font from wherever you'd like to set up all your styles from on your document. And you save it. Let's call it Custom 1. So when you go back to check out your fonts, there's Custom 1. Okay, I just happen to leave it the way it was. As always, you can set any of these as a default. And if you get stuck and you're used to the old way, looking over here, we'll choose different font styles for you to go in. Quote, so this is like a template creation. So it shows the font, it shows the paragraph, size, points, fonts, colors. This is real detailed stuff. But you can see, you can set up your own personal template like this.